you're welcome back today we'll be looking at prime factorization of numbers we'll be using a division method to do it now we have some numbers already on the board we're going to be solving 30 we're starting with that one let's look at how we are going to achieve the result remember we say we are going to use the division method now we'll have 30 here A rule or a line. This is our number one. And for us to do it, we are going to be using the smallest prime number. And we want to use two. Why do we want to use two? Remember that two divides numbers that end in 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. So since we have 30, the smallest prime we'll be using is two. So now we'll have two. 2 divide 30, that's 2 times. What number will give me 30? We'll have 15. Now, we have 5 ending it. Are we still going to use 2 as the smallest prime? No. We are still going to use the smallest prime number to still divide. And we have, we need to, we need to use 3. 3 times what number will give us 15? We'll have 5. We are going to still continue dividing the quotient till it gets to 1 using the same process. So we are going to use five because two, three, cannot divide it again. We'll now use the smallest one, which is five. Five going into five will give us one. We have finally gotten to one. So therefore, our prime factorization of 30, 30 will now be what? Two times three times five. That is our answer. Where two, three, and five are the prime factors of 30. Let's look at number 2. Number 2 we have 48. We have 48. And we are still using 2. 2 going into 48 will give us 24. And 2 going into 24 will give us 12. 2 here will give us 6. 2 here will give us 3. And then we use 3, which is 1. So what are the prime factorization of 48? We are going to have 48 here would be what? 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Or you write it this way, 2 raised to power 4. How many times the 2 appear there? 4 times. We have 2 raised to power 4 multiplied by 3, which is the answer. Do you understand? 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 will give us 48. Let's look at number 3. This is number 2 here. Now our number 3 will do it this way. Let's manage the board. We have 225. 225 as our number 3. What can divide? Can 2 go into 225? No, because it's ending in 5. We are going to use 3. 3 going into 2, a 2 is already smaller than 3, so we are doing 22. 3 times what number? We give us a number very close to 22. We have 7, which is 3 times 7, 21. So we are going to have 1 here, as the remainder we have there. So we'll carry it over to 5, making it 15. 3 times what will give me 15? That is 5. What number can stay divide? We're still going for 3. 3 going here is 2. And 3 going into 15 is also 5. Then we use 5. 5 going into 25 is 5. 5 there is also 1. So what's going to be our prime factorization here? We're going to have 3 times 3 times 5 times 5. Or you write it as 3 raised to power 2 times 5 raised to power 2. That is our answer. We have 2, 2, 5 equals to 3 raised to power 2 times 5 raised to power 2. Hope you enjoyed the class. If you actually enjoyed the class, I want you to solve this number 4 for me. We are going to have 128 using the factorization method and also using that division method we just learned now. I want you to solve 128. And if you actually enjoyed our class, please can you subscribe to us and you'll get notification for the next classes. Bye-bye.